Welcome to Mango Bay. I'm Karin Menon. This episode is about parents and comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. That was terrible. Sorry. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. <laughs> For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango? Bay. We in here, baby. This is fucking Mango Bay. What's up, coming dude? coming in hot. Welcome to Mango Bay. Hi. Uh, Hello. Nice one is stop Salam. shop. Thank you for coming for to Mango Bay. South Asian recklessness. Salam alaikum. Y'all know how it is. We're two best boys who bring the brown wilderness to the fucking yeah. forefront. Today we got a very funny guy, a guy who's been on the pod we before. Got our buddy here. Friend of the pod. He's a deep state propagandist. You yeah. guys know him. He's half white. He's uh, uh, Karen right. Menon. Karen we love Menon. our guy. We love this guy. Karen, what's your handle on the talk again? At the Karen Menon. At the Karen Menon. At S-H-E-E-P. Sheep. X X X. Karen out here X-X-X. telling people to get vaxxed. Vax. You know what else, dude? Yeah. Convincing young boys yeah. to origami their dicks into vaginas. Yeah, yeah. okay. He's doing that, all that's the. That's my main thing. That's his main that's thing main now. Thing. <laughs> origami and dicks. The, the, the combination. It's the them. only Gen Z job is to cut your own dick off. Yeah, yeah. it's the only job left. Yeah, it's true. It's my major. Let's it's start with the jungly story. Let's get into story. a jungly story. We're happy to have Karen here. We're happy to be with y'all. Karen welcome, doing, doing God's work out here. Thank doing really, really great work. Looking good. Uh, jungly story of the week, which is a wild story, something that happened that was goofy or wild. Usually to Osama, because I have no se- sense impression. Or, I'm basically a jungle animal yeah. myself. I don't remember anything yeah. Yeah. at all. But also me, like, remembering stuff is me, like, drawing cave paintings, like, no, on, you on have, my dude, wall. No, you have meticulous stories, <laughs> as we're about to find out now. And don't ham it up and try and go contrary. You come with the same jungly story fire, okay? Yeah. I got beat into submission, but through merit. That was nice. Yeah. Uh, he raped self-confidence into me I in did. that moment. So I did. <laughs> I impregnated it. you with Thank it. Thank you, buddy. So today's story was at the tiny cupboard, mm. the place that Garan went to and did a, did a, did a, uh, sto- a show at. And uh, this is a place in Brooklyn. And uh, weekday shows are goofy because there's mm-hmm. half the time uh, everyone is like cold and hateful, right? Yeah. At that so, place especially. <laughs> something. I love the that place. place. It looks like a place where you're going to have like an AA meeting. You don't know if it's an AA meeting or yeah. if it's a comedy show because they got it's, church yeah. pews and yeah. shit. You leave with track marks somehow. <laughs> yeah. Like you didn't even remember doing that. And skid marks. Yes. <laughs> On yeah. your arm. Yeah. So I was doing a set. Classic case of uh, hot white girl in the front. Uh, simp boyfriend in the side. Oh, yeah. Right, Classic. and this uh, basically this, this uh, as I'm doing jokes, this white girl basically um, is texting. Oh. Happens, she's hot, she hates everything, blah blah. blah. What I do, I'm, you know, it's pretty close to stage. I just go and take the phone. Ooh. Take the phone. Oh, Imme- you did that. I took the phone. Wow. Immediately, she, she starts yelping. She's like, "Hung, hung, hung!" She wow. starts sounding like a fucking horse. Right? Yeah. She is like, "Give me the phone. I, I do this thing. Right? <laughs> you have to, to fuck me first. Blah blah." And then I finally, you know, <laughs> give, give. you have to fuck me first. It's not what I said. But <laughs> I, I gave the phone back, and now I, I gave her a lesson. I was like, you know what? I did that because you're being uncool. You shouldn't text during a show. Mm. She goes into full white girl pout. Oh, yeah, full, yeah. like, fuck off. You're the worst. You are the worst because now it's not my space. I even, do, I even gave her, like, a little lesson. Mm. I was like, listen, white woman, every space is not your space. First wow. of all, that didn't even make sense. That's she was being like a bratty sub. Bratty sub, right? Uh, her boyfriend comes out of the bathroom. Right? He wasn't there when that he happened. He wasn't there. I, I, you know, he wasn't there. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm shitting on this girl now. I'm like, listen, get, get your girl. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. he's being simpy, simp, simp. Yeah. <laughs> then she's still, she's doing this thing. I'm doing jokes. She's doing this. The guy is laughing, okay. looking at her. Is she genuinely angry or she's, she's genuinely just being pouty? pouty like, I'm pouty part bit. of the show now. <laughs> no, no, no. But she's really role. pouty okay. angry. Mm. Okay. The dude is trying to laugh, looking at her, stopping laughing, right? Yeah. Okay. I tell them to leave, right? Like, this is not a good energy. Just get out of here, right? <laughs> they Who do go. Did leave? you get this on tape? I need yeah. to watch this show I now. I should have gotten this on tape. Uh, I told them to leave. I'm like, you got to go. This is not cool. Just go. Yeah. Just go. You know? A, a 10-year vet, I'm done with this. I'm done with the fucking bullshit. Yeah. They leave. Bad uncle is emerging. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Oh, no. They leave, right? This is what, But this yeah. is the jungly part. This uh-huh. is the jungly part that happens. Wait, I might have gone too far. 
So they leave. <laughs> they leave, right? They're gone. And everyone claps. Fuck them. Usama rocks. Yeah. Everyone loves me. Yay. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, she forgets her jacket. Oh, that bitch. And I wear her jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a jacket It's too small I start ripping it at the seams Not cool But I'm like this now I'm like this Doing comedy We're laughing Having a good time Everyone's laughing Everyone's laughing I'm like Wouldn't it be great If they come back here And they walk in No If it gets quiet yeah. At this point The man Should whoop my ass Yeah Could that, he have but Could he have he, he was a little simpy low, Like loser nobody Physically, was he? He was like a gr- uh, graphic designer, buddy. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so I do that. I'm here. I'm like, I'm like I, I, he catches me like this. I take off the jacket. I give it to him and he walks away. Okay. And I, uh, and I avoid the beating. But at, after, at that point, he, he, at, before he left, he was like, that was not cool, dude. Okay. Shaking voice. Shake, oh, shaking voice. No. So like he wanted to fight, he wanted but to he fight. was kind of too scared to fight. Too scared to fight. Yeah. Oh man, that was not cool, dude. I'm feeling for this guy too. the most. I know. Uh, as as a comedian, we get a little like in their faces yeah. sometimes too much. Yeah, yeah. Me, you know, me doing the scarecrow with her jacket. That's as, how, that's good. That, <laughs> that I support. It's you fun. know, it's comedy. But as a man, you have to now like I just basically kind of disrespected your girl, right? Yeah. yeah. So now you have to, you know. As a man, do something about it. <laughs> would you do that to somebody? If would you fight somebody? I would that? never fight anybody. Yeah, ever. Okay. Um, but <laughs> I would never do it. I'm just a bitch. But that's not true. You almost got into a fight in Liverpool. I did in, in Northern England. I did. Remember? I did. I did. I did. Yeah. Because some guys started to almost jump me. Oh, because some soccer champ. Because they called you champ called too, champ hard. too hard. <laughs> they yeah. champed you too. They, hard. Might, they might have been like legit fans, but I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. You're the champion of comedy. So That's how we call them here. <laughs> yeah, in yeah, yeah, we loved you. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're shaking us. Uh, so he like left, and that was when I felt bad. Is the moment he had the shaky voice and ran away with the with the girl's coat. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt bad at the end. And how was the audience during all this? So it was cheers and, and love. Uh-huh. But at the end, we all heard that guy's voice and everyone kind of got a little <laughs> sad. Oh. Like, my set... Because, yeah, that's a... Tra- and in that room, which echoes, the wobbliness of his voice must have reverberated in there. Yeah. Like, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. And then we're like, not cool, man. I was bullied my whole high school, like, you know, like school life. Yeah. And I, I got a little taste of that. Because like. you kicked them out of the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's kicked the him out of the show. Now. Yeah, he's been the underdog. Yeah. He's yeah. always been he's the always underdog. Been the underdog because he's with that that yes. chick, right? Yes. yes. And so you kicked him out of the show. You take her jacket, start m- m- mocking her further <laughs> while she's <laughs> gone already. He comes back in to witness that, and then he has to retrieve the coat. So you are officially the villain. You've entered your villain era. That's crazy. Villain vibes. I didn't like take the jacket and rub it on my balls. Yeah, you were the getting next, that. Was the I would, that was yeah. the final riff. Yeah, and if I was a funnier man, I would have done it. <laughs> you know you just started with that. <laughs> Farted on the you know, coat. You know, like the, the double hand where yeah, you're holding. Exactly, you know? yeah. <laughs> just, just, just flossing your crotch with her with her North Face. The floss crotch. The crotch floss tea bag. Did she did she see you wearing her jacket or just him? He she him. wouldn't even go back in the room. Oh, so she like sent this little simp guy mm. to fetch the jacket. Oh. So poor guy, you know, like uh, hopefully he's already fucked because he wasn't gonna fuck after that night. That was nah, not... he might have. The trauma could have brought them closer together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Like put the jacket over her and be like, <laughs> give her some hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> In the back of an ambulance, post-show. <laughs> that comedian humiliated you. They do a role it play. turned me on. <laughs> fuck me now. Dude, you forget. You little cuck. Dude, here, here's the thing. There's a part of me always thinks I'm still the little middle school, high school, you know, sad, couldn't right. look people in the face mm. while I'm talking to them guy. Mm. But you realize as you get older that I'm no longer that guy at all. And now... I don't believe you've ever been that guy. I, I was, dude. You haven't ever seen off. me. Yeah. Lower school, maybe, when you were still getting your ass whipped by Nargis dude. on the reg, <laughs> keeping you in your place. But you know what? But you know what? No. I've seen video pictures of you. I see yes. you still have the same stance. <laughs> Hold your hands up front. Like, you got that Drake's type yeah. stance, you know? And you got boys who I've talked to. I was like, Usama was the man. Usama <laughs> oh, was the shit. Boys. I see you were taller than everybody. Boys. You had those fucking yeah. dimples. I do it, do it. You were never the underdog, I was, I was cool despite my flaws because I was, I won't love me in the group. But if I was talking to a girl in high school, I couldn't even look at them. I'd have Dude. to like move my face. I around. was the same. I was yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, that's every guy. Dude, I mean, yeah. dude, I used to hold my hand in front of my face and talk like this. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I, it was a manifestation of my own self. So face Listen, masks. I do were appreciate great for this attempt at vulnerability. I put makeup on. <laughs> okay. Every morning I put makeup you're on my face. You're not at all. <laughs> you're not, <laughs> dude, you're like talking my own trauma. <laughs> what age? This is the worst. You weren't enough of a. Cuck. This is the worst therapist yeah. on earth. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! I don't believe you. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> I'll buy it. I should become this a therapist. This is stupid. And just gaslight my patients <laughs> out of believing that any of this happened. Like, Actually, would, maybe he's right. None of that happened. It would boom. <laughs> Trauma cure. You sound crazy right yeah. now. <laughs> you sound insane. Dude, dude. First of all, it would help more people than it would help than it would not help. Mm. Like that kind of tough love therapy. Yeah. There's a space for that in this goddamn world. Yes, and I am I am inhabiting that space. hundred <laughs> percent. Keep it moving. Jesus. It's not keep it moving. <laughs> So not keep it moving. <laughs> so let's stay there. Let's examine I used to it. Put on, I used to put on makeup every day. What? Yes. Sorry. That was like what kind of makeup? Like Fair and lovely? Like, like what? <laughs> Brown makeup to cover my moles. I used what? to hit my moles. Where'd yeah. you get that? Your parents? I used to go to my parents' uh, bathroom and, and put on. And it would look bad. It would look like I was auditioning for it, Rambo. You'd probably look like you had Vitiligo like or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Sylvester Stallone in the bush, you know? Yeah. It looked terrible. But that's all I knew is I, I, I wanted to cover up parts of my face that I hated. Damn. For wow. real? Was it for real, dude? I told yeah. you already. You did tell me that. Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had forgotten about I would, that. I would go to you know those like those like um, trips you take as like if you you know you know hostable or a business uh, quiz quiz where you go to a different school and like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And all then, I'm hearing right now is the alpha jock male used to also put on makeup because he was vain. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm it's hearing so right now. And now look at him growing up into the tiny cupboard, bullying people out of the <laughs> tiny cupboard, cucking people, huh? Uh, huh? Went from dude. cuck to the cucker. Idiot. I, uh. I almost did the thing where I was like, give me your jacket, dude. Yeah. And then I, then I wear his jacket. <laughs> On top give of what am I going to wear then, bitch? <laughs> give me your shirt. Give me your jacket. <laughs> give, me your, give me your undershirt. You when know? did that? What age did that happen for you, the transition from... Um, uh, comedy, comedy was everything. Comedy. Yeah. Once I started doing comedy, the real confidence started getting in. Yeah. Who I actually was. Without comedy, I would have been. <laughs> what? Insane, dude, shut dude. up! Dude. Insane. What are you dude. talking about? Are you asking him like this is real? Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got bullied every day for being too hot and <laughs> charismatic. <laughs> this is so charismatic, this and the bullies in school were this is not even true. jealous of me. They thrashed it's hot me. Usama, get dude, him. Yeah. This happened before too. I tried to tell this girl about my makeup issue with the moles. And she did not believe me. She's like, what? The, you mean those freckles? Mm. And I'm like, yeah, it was rough. And she like started like pushing me. <laughs> like like <laughs> pushing me away. Like, fuck off. I don't know why. When you just confidently say your trauma that nobody accepts it. Nobody agrees. Nobody, nobody allows it. it Here's why no one respects it is I had to wear concealer. Is not trauma, bitch. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's you being Dude, a pussy. It was not okay. It was not okay as a man to do that. And it was a secret. Mm, it was yeah. a secret. It was a it was a fear. Apparently, basically. not a very well kept secret. If people, it was bad makeup. Dude, I looked like I was in Afghanistan, <laughs> yeah. dude, like ready with a fucking shotgun. It looked bad, yeah. and my mom used to call me out. She was not having this. One day, she's like, "You look like fucking Halloween," <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" She was like, "The Trump. She, dude, like my mom was just, like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to even think about it. She would didn't even like allow this. Damn. Yeah. She was so disgusted with me with this this makeup thing, and rightly so. Like yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. "What is this?" My mom had a similar disgust for me when I had a phase of gelling my hair back. <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah. I thought that was like a gangster yeah. kind of thing, yeah. slicked back hair. Yeah. And yeah. they were just like, they would literally evoke this phrase too. They'd be like, "This slicked back hair phase of your life." Yeah, um, <laughs> and, just hate, and, the, just and like I was like a bad kid. I was always a bad kid, yeah. pretty much. Um, you were a good kid. I, uh, a yeah. good boy. I listen to my parents. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. Yeah. yeah, he does. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, like you have like very funny good boy comedy. You okay? You think I'm a good boy? You're a good. Boy. You're yeah. a good boy. You think I'm a good boy? You're yeah, a good that's boy. why you're yeah. telling like, hey guys, the war in Ukraine is cool. <laughs> Get vaccinated. Yeah. Mom says so, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I am a parent pleaser. Yes, you're I, a parent yeah. pleaser. Yes. I have, my younger brother was not, so I took that I took on that role. Yeah. yeah. But when you're at a bar and a girl wants to fuck you, you're like. Let me call, call, call my mom first. Yeah. Yeah. My mom Mom's would not <laughs> be approving, and now I'm hard uh, because of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, but you are, but you're funny though too. So that is yeah. the, that is your saving grace. Is your talent? Your, your redeeming quality is that you are talented. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's good to hear. Yeah, it's good yeah. to hear. No, for sure. My parents sometimes don't think so. That's actually really? very, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's they're doing their job. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. have to. Yeah, everybody serves a purpose. Has your yeah. parents said to you, Karan, you're not funny"? 
They, I actually did a show on Monday that they came to. Amazing. And a good response, everything. And then the car back there, my mom texted me and she was like, I have some feedback on wait, some Wait, wait, in the car? She, I took a different. Okay, I took, okay, yeah. okay. I'm like, what kind of family yeah. is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like literally an hour later, she was like, you did good. I have some feedback on some jokes. I Hilarious. Like to tell you. And purely just, she wanted me to be better. What was the feedback? The feedback was like, you could do less, um, like, I think you could just, the feedback was honestly, you could just make it funnier. It was, <laughs> there was just like, you, they were like, you're good, but you need more of those jokes that really just get people oh. laughing. <laughs> you need more jokes that are good. Yeah. I mean, that, that, is, that is, that is such harsh feedback. That's real. Yeah. That's real, baby. They're like, you had some jokes where people really laugh. Make all your jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> That's the most practical Indian mom advice yeah, I've ever is. fucking heard in my life. Yeah. It's on the level of like, hey, why don't you go work at SNL? Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's like the level of feedback. Yeah. It's like, just do the thing. That's going to be make exactly. you good. Because their bar is like Comedy Cellar. That's where they go to see shows. Yeah. They do. And that's it. They go. They like comedy, but wow. they only go to like Comedy Cellar. Okay, sure, sure. Or see a Netflix special. They don't go see like anything lower than but that. But they, be, they right. be doing that. They be going out to oh, see yeah. comedy together. No, they enjoy comedy. That's okay. Oh, so your mom be knowing. They be knowing. They know. They went to see. They see people. I Dude, my mom's feedback is wear a less tan shirt. <laughs> you know, like it's all about my outfit. My mom will say some nefarious shit though. Yeah, she saw my hair on America's Talent. She's like, it made me depressed for two days. <laughs> Bro, like she legit. I tell you the story with the cash cap. Yeah, uh, I was on cash cap. I, I got the that. money. I got in. I got. I won. Yeah. Uh, before me on the episode, they fucking these fucking producers put me right before, right after two Asian ladies that were drunk as fuck. <laughs> they had a nine fucking mile trip that they and they got like 20, 50 questions. Got them all right. Mm. My mom saw that, then saw me, <laughs> and was like, "I did not know my son was retarded." <laughs> <laughs> she said. Sure. She said I was sad for weeks after that <laughs> because <laughs> they put me before fucking two. Geniuses. Yeah. So that's that's mom shit. That sucks. That's mom yeah. shit. Always whatever the situation is, there's someone better. Of course. At what you're doing. It's yeah. always two Asian ladies. Yeah. And it's always two Asian ladies that's who are true. better than you. Yeah. That's amazing. Didn't think your dad was cool then? My dad, yeah, he was he no, he was the one who was who mainly he was like he was good. It was good. But <laughs> it was good. It was good. But uh, you know, it's just really you gotta get to that next level. <laughs> what do they what do they like in terms of comedy? <laughs> you gotta, they like my dad likes like Chris Rock, like okay. Bill Burr. Okay. Uh, my mom doesn't like when there's too much cursing. She of likes, course. She, she yeah. likes, so she's like she wants you to be funny, funny, and then the, don't relying on that. Dude, which that, I get. she's that common from the YouTube. Yeah, it's so yeah. refreshing to see comedy that's not vulgar. Yeah, 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 that yeah, bitch. yeah. Like, shut up, bitch. Shut yeah. up, pussy yeah. ass, <laughs> motherfucker. Cut, yeah. cunt. That's, yeah. that's to Karan's mom. Couldn't hear yeah. with all that jizz that's in your mouth, mouth, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's your mom's name? Sareka. Hey, Sareka. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> jizz on this. Yeah. Oh my god. I was. <laughs> she's gonna. She's gonna want to watch this too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Auntie. It's a mom. Auntie, Auntie, Auntie. Sorry, no, we're very bad people. Mean that. I feel, I feel, I feel good. Yeah. I feel We're good. We're fine. No, they, yeah. well, your mom's sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and her dad has to come in like, dude, dude. That's not dad, cool. Dude, sorry, hey, it's man. not cool, man. Hey, man. Hey, dude. <laughs> Got you seeing this. Um, that's amazing. And so your parents are comedy fans. Who's your mom's favorite comedian of all time? Oh, that's a good question. I think she really... I gotta ask her. Actually, I think she she really likes watching like um, Seth Meyers and like oh. John Oliver and like the uh, dude, where they just talk to you. And they're more political. Yeah, and they're smart. Yeah, they she must likes, love your videos though. They do. They do like my videos. Yeah. My dad. What I would do actually when I was first starting out was my dad has like the highest bar. He actually tried stand up in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah. it's becoming clear. What's this the funny is very fascinating. Well, they. Uday, Uday, Menon. Menon, yeah. Wait, wait, is he? Do you have a clip? No, no, no. He, it's like okay, a VHS tape or something. Fire. Have you looked for your dad on YouTube? No, I just remember when I was like nine, he like put it on the TV one time. Um, and it's like, the thing is, he was re he's very funny, but yeah. he like was very, very funny in India. Uh -huh. And then the references and the things he would make reference, they didn't always work here. So he kind of got this. You got the funny parents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the, at the Davats and the parties, they're always the one kind of making other uncles laugh and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, bro. My dad, especially, is like. Really? He's yeah. the funny guy. Yeah. I'm seeing a guy with Damon on. Wait, wait, wait. Comedy. Hold on. Just get a website. Oh, it's wait, not you, secure. Your dad out here it's trying online? to spam us. <laughs> he took like a class at some club and then they got a showcase show. And that's like, the extent that I think he did. In LA. In New York. In New York. Yeah. American Comedy Institute Showcase at Stand Up New York. <laughs> oh, I think that's the one. Yes, oh my bitch. God. I haven't seen Hello. this in like a decade or more. Is this the video? I'm about to download it. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh. We're about to go down. 
Bro, that's fucking so funny. Yeah. 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 So he's the kind Watch of guy. Watch it be the most hack shit on the planet <laughs> Earth. <laughs> You know, it's, it's Windows Media 11.5 ma- uh, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a format that hasn't I mean, been let's used. See. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know if this is like I can actually watch this on my phone. We'll get Joe on the case here and get this thing converted. And this oh. is so exciting for me, dude. You have never seen I'm this. Sending it to I you don't somewhere. remember. Yeah. I just remember what it, the vibe of it when I first saw it that one time in like I was like eight or set, set eight or nine. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, your mom's toured with Whitney Cummings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my mom exactly. is Whitney Cummings. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What would you remember any of the jokes? I don't, I don't think we can access. I it think right he now. he had one joke about like I like he's like I don't think it's ever available. First Google hit. <laughs> That's insane. First I've Google never hit. Looked it up. That's well, they meant on stand up comedy. Yeah. Boom. And the clip it was a website for just one video. Yeah, it's literally just one video. I, he did a joke um uh, about like trucks in India having like the Tata okay bye okay Tata you know that thing yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and he had some. And he had something about people having cell phones and like if you have a cell phone, people think you're like an agent in like okay. the villages. If you have two phones, you're a double agent. That was the thing. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a good dad joke. It's a sure. dad joke. But yeah. I've seen him perform for like Indian people and they'll be his age and they love that. Okay, so was your dad, does your dad do like emceeing and stuff at the parties? He's going to be emceeing his uh, co- college uh, reunions uh, like on fe- in February on this Zoom all or something. making sense. What is he, IIT guy? IIT, yes. IIM. Oh, yeah. okay. this is all This fucking, is all making sense this is all now. Fucking. Yeah, it's like you choose a path but you have this passion as well. So I he's get like, it. Yeah. That's the real it. cast in it. India is like IIT is IIT. the Brahmins. Yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, you know, like those guys are for real. Yeah, yeah. my dad's an IIT guy. He is. Which, yeah. which IIT? Kanpur. That's my dad as well. Oh, yeah. Got it. All right. Class of my dad know, would have been, but he went to Russia. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. But that was another route for a dad. We've talked about this before. The going Russia to, route. Going to Patrice Lumumba, Patrice which Lumumba. is the other place where all the G's go. Yeah, I haven't heard of this. My dad had a choice between. Uh, yeah. yeah, he he was going to come to the states. How old your dad? Huh? How old your dad? I was like. 70s. Okay, my dad's like 69. Yeah, so they're, probably, they're in the same, same age group. My dad's like 68. Which is what I love about you. Yeah. Even you and I have an age gap, but our parents it's don't. don't. You know? It's so weird, bro. Because yeah. your parents would be fucking. They were fucking, okay? They'd be fucking. Damn. They were fucking, dude. Yeah. Wait, that's, lot, that's, that's badass. I know your dad. I know this vibe. I know yeah. this vibe. Yeah, I yeah, know your dad, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Double agent. I know this guy. Too. Double, he is a double I agent. Yeah. So was your dad, was he, does he push, does he pressured you into comedy? No, 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 no. At all. I'll be honest. He didn't pressure me to do comedy. He pressured me to be funny, though. He was like, if yeah. you do it, it has to be at a high level. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I like that. Yeah. Because he's a high level will, like this. Like he shows this. the double agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're triple agents right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I, can, I can imagine that joke exploding on the scene. <laughs> The Dawat scene. They I don't are. even fully understand the joke. What <laughs> no, you have a phone? You're an agent. You have two phones. You're a like double agent. In the village or in the town that yeah. he was describing, some story that he worked that joke in, and it yeah. like it worked for the audience. Yeah, okay. But I don't know if it would work in the in the right. clubs. But okay. it, it in, the, in the clubs. In the clubs. Yeah. I mean, I'm older than you guys. We used to have a guy in our community. What was this guy's name? Fucking Dari Uncle. Yeah. Okay. Punjabi fucker. You know, had the stash. Good looking guy. Yeah. Every story you get up, he'd hammered. This guy would MC every event. <laughs> He would open the story the exact same. Every it could be a wedding. So my wife is a bitch. Huh? <laughs> my wife's a bitch. That's how this guy would start every story. This guy, every joke, That's everything he would do. He's at a kid's premise, He's so at a sweet I sweet knew it. And it if it wasn't about him, like so I knew this guy he used to work with this guy, and man, his wife was a little bitch. <laughs> huh? you know, every Dari Uncle story, right? And then his wife dies. Yeah. The eulogy. Yeah. She and, was a bitch. So these like these were like the two Punjabi brothers in our community growing up. They were like the entertaining guys. Uh, they're all fucking yeah. engineers and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. His his brother in law was like, I'm a singer. He's a shit singer. Shit singer. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. And then Dari Uncle, these two drunk fucks. This guy would get there on the coffee table, do tabla on the coffee oh, table. This other guy's doing the hits. You every know? uncle, there's always that one yeah. tabla uncle, dude. This yeah. motherfucker doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's and a, then, then like a the beta uncle would try to come in and start <laughs> singing too. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. And then they'd be like, "Okay, we'll give Amar one chance to sing." To sing. You know? Oh, my family does that. There's like a showcase every time yeah. the families are like, yeah. "Hey, you, uh, Nito, you know a song." Eh? Yeah. Then so, they bring you in. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But at Nutty, you did. I would play 14 saxophone. Years ago. Yeah. So I would do comedy for these motherfuckers. You would yeah, actually. Wow. I would. I would yeah. six years old because I used to yeah. around the house. Yeah. I was a funny kid and I used yeah. to do impressions. I do Pat Sajak yeah. from Wheel of Fortune and I do commercials, Hollywood Squares. Yeah, I used yeah, to do a whole sketch of Hollywood Squares. I'd play multiple characters. Damn. They used to bring me out, trot me out at 2 a.m. Mm, and you were the all these smashed Indians. Yeah. They're all drunk as fuck, except for my parents, total teetotalers. Yeah. 
Uh, and then I'd hit them with the impressions, you know. What was the reception? They would they like it. it. They love would it, like yeah. it. All the way up until like early high school. I'd do yeah. Adam Sandler, um, uh, the, uh, what was it? Yeah. Uh, the Excited Happy Summoner. Gilmore? Okay. Yeah, Excited, yeah. which is the water boy, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And I used to do that around the house. And my mom, I told you this yeah. before. My yeah. mom be like, do the toothless gay black. <laughs> Do that the was her. Gay black. I, That's all she heard, dude. which is not inaccurate, right? If you hear the 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 uh, water boy, it kind of does sound like that. Toothless, toothless, toothless black gay. Do it, <laughs> you know. It's like do it for all her friends. Yeah, she fucking loved that shit. Yeah, you it's know? a good feeling to entertain your parents. It was. Yeah. It was uh, that's how I avoided yeah. beatings. We've talked to, we <laughs> told <laughs> these stories before, but when I was a real little kid, I could avoid it was many a an ass whipping by mechanism. getting my mom to laugh. You know, <laughs> dude, it, it is true that. Our, our biggest kind of goal is to make our parents happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it sucks because they don't even like us. They're the last you know, like, people. Yeah. Right. And we're just like, please, do you think I'm cool? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm awesome? <laughs> yeah. You know, if my mom, if I, saw, if I was doing stand up, I know what would happen if I saw my mom in the front row. Yeah. She would not be laughing. Yeah. She'd barely be holding on to this thread of what's going on. You know? <laughs> She's like, what are you saying? Right? I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm like destroying probably, right? Yeah. Bah, bah, hit him with the tag. Whoa. Yeah. Mom's like, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <Dyer> show- <laughs> yeah. He's like not just like tired. Nargis yeah. with the bucket hat, yeah, yeah, the matching yeah. outfit. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> you know, the lights too loud. You know, yeah. it's all just too much. And my, you know, and I just know I my aim though one day is to get her to enjoy so, it. Yeah. How would I do that? I'll figure it out. You got to talk about her. Is, is the right. thing you got to talk about uh, her. The moms they like, like it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My mom loves it when I tell jokes about her. My mom loves it. Last night I was talking to them on the phone. I started going yeah. on a bit of a rant. She yeah. was lo- She. I could just hear her <laughs> 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 laughing her ass off. You know, mom. Because I was making fun Do of it. her too. Do yeah. it. You know, Indian, in, a, in like a loving. Da- Daisy way. moms love attention so much, even when like the dad is abusing them fully. Yeah, like, finally. <laughs> they kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, at the at Thanksgiving, right? Made you uh, look. Bro, bro. Uh, we have, my brother came with his white girlfriend mm. and my dad doesn't change his vibe to fit the white girlfriend this time. Mm. So he, he's full dad. He's full uh, like in the cob. Yeah. And in the cob loves to shit on my mom for no reason, right? Just yeah. like eat something, be like, this is disgusting. <laughs> so he did that vibe with the white girlfriend of my bro- brother. So he was like, you know, Colleen, Nargis is a bad cook. <laughs> and he's like doing like a lob for the girl so the girl's gonna be like yeah she sucks like a bond but this is a nice white girl so yeah. she's like what the fuck do I say <laughs> yeah. she's like yes Nargis is a terrible cook trying to get the whole party going yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah and it's not good it's like fucking my wife's a bitch it's insane yeah. it's so it's insane. not cool he's man. doing the, the cooking is a whole new he's level he's doing the my wife's a bitch uh, routine yeah. just <laughs> My wife can't cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> but then we have a white girl in this who does not understand yeah. with yeah. the vibe. And so I'm, I'm like sweating. I'm like, it feels weird. Yeah. I felt like I was back in the day, like in high school. Like, And I was like, Colleen, don't worry about it. Because my, my, my dad is not just like... Colleen, he, the whitest girl. The whitest name. girl. Like, Colleen. <laughs> Colleen. Colleen. And he's don't not, worry he's about not, it. My dad is not like just doing it in the miasma of the group. Yeah. He is specifically lobbing this to, my, yeah. to the white girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn. Shit on my wife. Yeah. You know? Is, do you, he didn't even, do you think he meant it or he was just like. <laughs> At this point, it's how he knows how to joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's, how, like, it, it's, so like, it's like taboo for us. Yeah. Shit on Nargis time. You know, it's, it's like charade. It's like a fun, <laughs> it's a fun game for the whole family. My wife can't cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, time to play. Abuse your mother. It's uh, like taboo. There's like five words you can't say. <laughs> Hey, great meal, babe. Great yeah. meal. <laughs> Everybody gather around. We're going to play a game. Okay, I start. Okay. Yeah. My wife's a bitch. <laughs> Your turn, Colleen. Yeah, like, oh, this is the uh, this is when she cooks the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the shit. The shit. <laughs> yeah. It was that level. Yeah. And bro, I, I, you know, it's just, uh, it's hilarious. My mom is like laughing around. She's like having a good time. Because I guess she loves the attention. So she is having a good time. Bro, yeah. my mom this is like, like how they roast each other. How they right? roast. And my yeah. mom's just like, dude, she's a veteran of this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She can't get what? I mean, this is going to still affect her fucking 40 years down the line. The only way yeah. it's affecting her, her, her nipples are getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's she's all that's like, happening. Oh, dude, not in front of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. A bitch in front of the going kids. in. Me. That's Look at crazy. Him. My, my dad could never do that in front of my mom. <laughs> like, that would never work. Dude. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's because they're a younger generation. Yeah. That's why. Your yeah. dad's out here doing stand-up Actually, and my, stuff. My they're dad's kind of a Western He's 67, 67. Yeah, he's, I'm on uh, his second marriage. So. Oh, yeah. Ooh, your dad. A player yeah. out here. He's got a second marriage, though. New school yeah. player. Yeah. Hold on. Who's the old one? Who's the old hit? Hag. Um, <laughs> Does he have kids but the old one? Yeah, one kid. He's 31. He lives in Brooklyn. You uh, have a step. Do you know this kid? Yeah, his name's uh, Rohan. What? You guys friends? What? Yeah, I stayed at his place a few days ago. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Rohan. Yeah. And he what? led a modern ass Indian family. He's married uh, to an uh, to a uh, guy, a white girl, a white yeah. girl. Yeah. Oh, and very modern. Everybody's, everybody's loving it. You know? And he's got a kid. No, no, they're okay. they're a young young couple. Oh, like a New York thirty one year old. New York thirty ones. Okay, um, so wow, you have a stepbrother. I've never met an Indian so who had a stepbrother. I've yeah, had actually. one. I've had one in the, in the group. Yeah, in our Bengali group, there was one dad who was like uh, started raping. Oh, gosh, started, started raping. Started raping. They kicked him out. Yeah, and then she got a new husband who's cool. Who doesn't do that? But he was like a guy in the community, and he started raping, and then they just like kicked him out. That's, That's good. Which is different than what usually happens. Usually they give him a placard. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they honor him at yeah, yeah, yeah. an yeah. event, and then the MC's uh, like, you know, his wife was a bitch. Oh. This guy's wife. <laughs> Daddy uncle going off right now. <laughs> Daddy uncle going off right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uncles. uncles are Bad the uncles, dude. Bad uncles. Bad uncles, uncles. Bad uncles are the goofiest. <laughs> Goofiest people on planet Earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. which I like your dad. I, I think your dad is going interesting. Yeah, your dad's a Mac. Dude. Yeah, fucking yeah. Mac attack, dude. Yeah. Why did he so, get divorced? Um, Do you know why? I think it was just not. I don't know. I haven't. Okay. I don't know the exact details, but yeah. uh, his comedy career. His his comedy comedy career. <laughs> it was there was a good amount. Of, I think that was in like the mid '90s, and then he remarried in like 1999. There was a little period. I don't know, but holy shit, yeah. Like, wait, sit down. wait. So he like uh, wooed this woman. It wasn't a uh, no. Arranged. Neither was arranged. No, neither. Dude, um, what's your dad's name? Uday. Uday, Uday, bro. Laying down that pipe, dude. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. those guys go to Jer- Jersey City. They go to the sweet shops. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. where they hang out to pick, they, they pick up chicks. pick up chicks. Yeah. Hey, that let was me get a jo- box of her, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> let me get a box of them. Huh? <laughs> come on. Come on. Who's with me? Um, That's fucking amazing. <laughs> I see. I, you know, I, I, it's not that I haven't encountered the concept of Indian stepbrothers, just never stepbrothers who have known each other or known the existence of each other. Right. Oh, yeah, like, there's definitely way a, down the line. Yeah, yeah, like there's definitely Indian dads who came here before and married some white chick or something, and then boom, you know, yeah. leaves the family and then goes and gets the other, the real yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, there's no fun comedy script with that. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's two different movies. <laughs> yeah, you can't write a. There's no John C. Riley, yeah. Farrell, staring <laughs> in the bunk bed. We don't have that. We don't have that. All right, that movie would be just us corresponding on Facetime. <laughs> yeah, on Facebook. Hey, so what's your name again? Yeah, cool. Well, I had a friend, bro, uh, Farouk. You know Farouk, right? Uh, uh, who's uh, the Kasbani. comedian? Yeah, uh, and uh, his dad died recently, mm. and uh, they found out he had a stepbrother. Oh my god! After the dad died, then this guy comes. He comes. He pulls up. P- pulls up to the house. Bro, he's not. He's like kind of like half Latina at this point, because wow. he grew up in like some other fucking Florida, whatever. Bro, he starts like not getting any of the remarks. He starts shitting on everybody. Oh my he's god! Like he's like doing loud, boisterous jokes. They're like sisters don't really like him like that. They're kind of like, uh, and then his he's like, own what? sisters. Yeah, his own sisters, the okay. stepsisters. Uh, the stepsisters, uh, like right. Farouk's sisters. Yeah. And then every he's doing that thing. He's hitting on them. He's like, oh kinda, my! He's not, but let's just say that he is. Yeah. yeah. And he's always he's doing that thing that shitty brothers do. They're like. And then leave the room, and he's like, "What was something I said? <laughs> was that that shitty guy yeah, move? Yeah, but it yeah. was something I said. Where's my hug? Yeah, what's the problem? Where's my oh, where's hug? My <laughs> he was First that guy. He, he's where my hug was something I said, guy. <laughs> and he figures out that with comedians, he starts doing the most stupid, like fucking, you know. That's shit. the five to fifteen year sentence guy right there yeah. who uses that combo of phrases. Bro, yeah. bro, I can't get a hug. Can't get a hug. Where's my hug? I'm huh? gonna yeah. give me a hug. What's something I said? Where's my hug at? Oh come on, he's doing that. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. He, he has been to jail. He's doing terrible oh, he jokes, bro. And then. Our guy Farouk is just in love with this guy because he's like his older brother. <laughs> he like looks up to him. What's the age difference? Wow, uh, it's it's a lot. He's a lot older. I see. So it's like we don't know how to deal with stuff. I like how you interpreted the story Far- Farouk was telling, which Farouk is telling it ad- adoringly, <laughs> and you're giving the real. You're <laughs> giving us the reality of like this is a truly demented situation <laughs> right not, here. Not cool. That was shaking down. <laughs> but that Farouk was telling us. Farouk, Farouk was doing this with his legs. <laughs> yeah, <screaming laughs> <in the back. laughs> 
<laughs> so my brother came and he was like, where's my hug at? And this guy has a full like, star yeah, on yeah. his neck. Yeah. This guy's crazy, right? And he's like, like in this... Thomas <laughs> imagine the most nightmare bro, scenario. He has like a Lucifer yeah. trident on his <laughs> forehead. And bro, he's in this fucking brown ass household yeah, yeah. during the fucking like death. Oh, it was with the funeral time he this came is like through. Right after the funeral, bro. Holy shit. Oh, imagine okay. this insane, like, cholo looking, like, massive dude. Yeah. yeah. Something I said? <laughs> what? This samosas are pretty good. <laughs> Fuck. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like slapping the auntie on the back who's like grieving. <laughs> it's hilarious. He's at the coffin. Like, where's my hug? Where my, yeah, where my hug at, auntie? He's hugging the corpse. Yeah, Yo, yeah. bro, where my hug oh, at? I can't get a hug. <laughs> he's patting down the corpse. Yeah. See if there's change. <laughs> this is the guy. Yeah. And then Farouk's like, he taught me how to jimmy a car yeah, yesterday. Yeah. This is my brother. It's the funniest Maybe thing. I forgot to tell you this, how insane this scene was. Yeah. We, went to, we went to his house. Okay. Just like give some respects. And this guy was just there. Just well-meaning guy. Not a bad dude by any yeah. means. But oh, so you saw this happening? I was there, dude. I was there. You were there? Oh. I was there. Wow. Uh, seeing all this happen. Okay, so you actually you saw a different perspective. Of I, it, yeah. I was just seeing what was yeah. happening. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't Farouk telling okay, the story. Okay, I thought Farouk's telling you <laughs> the story <laughs> and you're, you're interpreting it. And I'm it. like, yeah. this is I've seen this guy. This is all real shit. Yeah. Uh, we drove to Staten Island to go meet, hang out with Farouk. And uh, just imagine like these like hijabi ladies, yeah. you know, trying to eat uh, sweets sadly. And then this just fucking like, Andre the Giant looking at just dabbing people barely, up. Dabbing people what up. was his name? Do you remember? Did he have dude, like a Muslim it Pakistani was like, name? Dude, his name was like Antonio or something. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Uh, but it's a story. I say this because we don't know how to do stepbrothers yeah. correctly. Like we'd not, That wasn't like a, a fun stepbrother like, yay, mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even my, my I brother. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know any, I don't know any cool Indian stepbrothers. Yeah. That well, are now like, we do. Yeah. Now we do. Yeah. Karen and Rohan. Yeah. Well, half brothers. I don't know what the half brothers. brothers half brothers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Half brothers. Is. But yeah, and it was like we didn't see each other a lot for the first for the beginning parts, but now we're seeing each other more often because we're both like kind of adults. I mean, I'm yeah. kind of an adult, a real person now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like, uh, so would your dad have to like go? Yeah, he would. I, yeah, we wouldn't like he would be get food with my because uh, we live in New Jersey. Yeah. So he would see. It. And my dad worked in the city for a while, so yeah. they were. And he wow. wanted to live near where his other son. Okay, was that's great. Wow. Good for your dad. Your dad's dad, a G, bro. Yeah, your dad's yeah. a good guy. Yeah, he was. It wasn't like a runaway. I don't know. I don't the, know. the Haitian route, we call it. <laughs> you know? Or the Indian route. Or the Indian route. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some Indians. That's it's a lot of Indians who be doing that. Yeah. I mean, the, these island dads and these subcontinental dads, they'd be bouncing. Yeah. Right? yeah. Island dads love it even more. I feel like Dominicans. Well, Haitians. usually the move is for an Indian guy or a Pakistani guy or whatever will come here. You know, meet some foxy white chick. Fuck her. Have a kid with her, yep. then bounce on her, and then go get his Indian family together. Mm. And then that kid tries to be Pakistani her whole life. Yeah. yeah. Just a fucking half white, freaking out. Please, let me be full Pakistani. Why'd you do this to all me? Right, don't, yeah. be dox- don't be subbing You're talking about certain Liz people. like this. All I, didn't right? say, Our homegirl. I didn't say Liz until you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing good. And then you're like, Liz, 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 Liz alert. <laughs> Liz alert. Liz alert. <laughs> Love Liz. Love Liz. Just K. Just K. Um, and she watches the episodes. She does. Love you. One day she said she was going to beat me up if I uh, keep joking about this. Like, oh, really? On some real shit. Like, stop calling me white. I'm going to beat you up. Yeah, I mean, everybody who's half white says that. That's really weird. They're always everybody running from their whiteness. wants to be white. Is a it's, I know. Thing, yeah. I know. I know. When you're a kid, bro, I want to see these people when they're growing up. There was not an ounce of Pakistani in there. Yeah, there was not yeah, a, yeah. a trace. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Not so a kebab in sight, bro. Yeah. It's Rod. My name's Rod. <laughs> Roger. My name's Roger. Roger. My name's yeah. Raw Dog. You know. Yeah, my name's Todd. Todd. Like Todger. <laughs> Todger. Todger. Yeah. The Brooklyn LA Todger. Yeah. yeah, the Brooklyn yeah. Todger. Uh, whatever. We don't got to go into that. But yeah. uh, where are we at time wise? You want to go into stories or uh, we can just. Uh, you've done like the last oh wow. We can we can wrap this up and then just do the stories later. What do you think? Next step. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, this has been a fun episode. 100%. I've been having a good time. Yeah, yeah, just riffing. Just you do it. You're the freaking magic. in here. Well, what's what's next? What's on the horizon, bro? The horizon is I'm going to graduate college. Oh, wow. Oh, shit, the boy's growing up. One semester left. This is crazy, dude. Sum yeah. laude. Summa cum laude. Summa cum laude. They haven't, they haven't you... told me. Uh, maybe. Bro, I was back. What's your GPA, bro? It's like four, 3.9. Okay, yeah. that's, that's, that's not a four. It, 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 no, but almost a four. Get Could the, be. Get the, get had to the, give the, the yeah. Had to bring the energy. About that. I know. Oh, I know you are a four. <laughs> According to us, you're a four point nine out of four. Wow. Okay, we love you, dude. I gotta stay here more. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> stay gotta here. Stay in the zone here, dude. I got a magna. Uh, you got magna. 
my dad looks at me. He's like, I can't look at you in the face. <laughs> yeah, so because like, he saw that when he said, "I can't believe my son." My son's retarded. retarded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said it for real. He said really said it. Yeah, he really said my. He said "oga." It was a Bengali word. Oga means that sounds retarded. retarded. Oga. 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 He's a real Oga. It, it, Bengalis really do have a sense of sound. Yeah. Oga means fucking retarded. Yeah, and like so my, not yeah. just retarded, like we're talking like, like the bad. bus could not be shorter. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a driver in one seat. Yeah. It's a square. Yeah, yeah. It's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a yellow Prius. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I got the Magna Cum Laude. And I, I, I knew he saw it. Because basically this fucking uh, in a university makes you stand if you're uh, Magna Cum or Summa. Okay, okay. So he may, they may like, can the Summa please stand up? The I, like, I should have just fucking stood up, dude. But they had like a special tassels so they could tell. Yeah. They would, know. they would know. Cast systems alive and well. Someone would call dude, me dude, dude, was, <laughs> Can the Brahmins please stand up? Yeah. <laughs> can the yeah. can the Kshatriyas please stand up? Yeah. Yeah. Can uh, the untouchable <laughs> fucking loser <laughs> Siddiqui's please stand up? Y'all don't have up. any seats. That's all your dad heard. Yeah, they're standing in the back. Can, <laughs> can the untouchables keep standing? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> never sit. <laughs> can the untouchables fill up my glass? Please? <laughs> Can the intelligent ones fuck off yeah. from the ceremony? <laughs> they just walk away. This is, uh, a, this is by the way, is Usama's dad speaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very clear. They would yeah. do that. Have like the full like uh, diploma right before they catch it. They just yeah. drop it on the floor. <laughs> See <you> Oops. Later, <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> Whoops. Happy. Uh, so my, I, we, I, I go to my, I, you know, my dad after the ceremony, he yeah. couldn't even look at me in the eyes. This is, this is for real shit, dude. This is wow. Like, so yeah, get get the cumma, dude. Get the, get the cums. The cumma. Get the summa, not cumma. the cum, cum. Not the cum louder. Yeah, the not cumma the mag- cum louder. Dude. Cumma yeah. cum cum. The cumma cum louder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, get it, because it means something. Okay. To, to the Indians. Yeah, I I'm like I don't care about school anymore. Like it's over. I don't want. Dude, it. I didn't do shit the, the final semester, which got me bagna. Oh. Because okay, I didn't yeah. give a fuck. Because I was already. Accepted. You were killing it before, though. Dude, I got a full scholarship, and I got in, and I got a stipend on top of that. Yeah. That's how much they wanted me to school. Damn. And I was like, fuck off. And so my GPS just went down. Yeah. GPA just went all the way down the last semester. I didn't give a fuck. Dude, I feel guilty doing that, but I want to do that. Like, I, do, I, want, I just don't want to care next semester. Dude, biochemistry, bro. I think I, people understand. They understand. I yeah. mean, yeah. if they're looking at, like, uh, senior year, they get it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. not. You should probably work hard. <laughs> just keep working. <laughs> you should work hard. Don't take my advice. I have yeah. a data science minor in case, like, I'm trying to do, like, writing and stuff. But sure. I have a data science minor. Isn't, aren't you a neuroscience major? I was. I was. I switched out of that. So to it's what? Like, uh, it's, it's like English basically. I have a screenwriting okay. minor, but then I pick, I just kept this computer science thing just yeah. so like yeah, dude. just so I have something to like future. show you know for my because also it like buys you time with your parents if you have yeah something. do the data you're gonna need to do a lot of data science work <laughs> also, it buys you time with yeah. the world with the with world, world. Yeah. AI yeah. that's coming yeah. to kill us all dude. yeah fuck yeah. Yeah. You know, comedy, thank God, requires expressions, you know. That yeah, gonna maybe. Be, like, hope. you think AI is not going to catch up no, with that? that? 99% yeah. of comics in New York, half the ones that he mentioned on his show last night, could be wiped out by an AI in, in comedian like weeks. this. <laughs> okay? Two weeks, dude. <laughs> two weeks. Start jumping around, folks. It'll be a folks. holocaust. Start jumping around. Damn. Yeah. Um, that's amazing, dude. If I, yeah. if I'm, if you're in this uh, cusp. Cusp of deciding where I'm going to be, what I'm going to do. And I don't know yet. So that we'll was see. a very Indian way. What am I going to be? What am I going to be? Also, I'm like Indian uncleing. Like, tell me. Yeah, I feel like I got to impress you guys. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We're fully You're, Indian We're uncle already vibes. impressed by you. Dude. We love yeah, you. Yeah, we love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But, we I, love but we do have, we're getting to that stage. We're just, we're uncle vibes to these yeah. kids now. <laughs> these Gen Z kids look at us like uncles. Yeah. And I brought, I'm failing with these Gen Z kids. I have, the show I was doing yesterday. It was all Gen Z people. Gen Z Indians in the front row. Bro, they just looked at me like, this guy needs to go. No. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm phasing out. I'm yeah. phasing out. That yeah, yeah. sucks. Bro, there's people that are our age that are going to buy tickets. Like, it's not like we're always going to be fighting for the Gen Z kids. That's true. We people have our, we'll have our own audiences. like the young people are the only ones who exist. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. America loves to be youth over anything. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But it's like, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have Nick, no money. They also don't have really. Money. They have yeah. no real future. If you're being realistic about it, yeah. Global warming's yeah, yeah, the yeah, that, out there. the economy. Yeah. It's like you guys, you guys are in a real shithole. We're done. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Dude. Keeps on, but and the, the last words will be, "This is fucking retarded." Like, <laughs> yeah. they, as they like, die, you know like, what? It actually was. It actually retarded. Dude, was. You know what word was. encapsulates what your forefathers have done is retarded. Yeah. So yeah. you should use that word more, Gen Z kids. Yeah. Um, that's amazing, bro. Yeah. We fucking love you, dude. Are you fucking off your fans yet? Fucking off. Wait, what you do you mean? All oh, your, off oh, your fame. Oh, oh, like just get like getting. You're getting pussy. Yes. Um, I would say it adds <laughs> to the overall energy. Okay, okay. So Ricky's not here right now. So Rekha, you know, she's gonna be at the other end of this camera. This <laughs> but, uh, but she's fine with it. I I think that no, I haven't like I haven't like taken someone home after a show or anything. Uh, but I have like had people know who I am before they meet me. Okay. And then that leads to like 
What? Okay, we've all had that though. <laughs> to okay, the fucking, he yeah. can't say he can't tell what's actually uh, happening. Yeah. I also don't. Yeah, but like I'm in college still, so it's like the network of people who know who I am there is higher because that's where I that the followers started. Was yeah, in yeah, yeah. They so do. So there, yeah, it's like a highly do. concentrated of people, concentration of people who know who I am. You yeah. Know? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Any any last things you want to promote? You want to fucking. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I'm just, enjoy, I'm just enjoying my, I, I would promote just your TikTok, sh- just my TikTok and, and I'll, and you know, come see me. I'll be in New York this month. I know when this Fuck episode yeah. comes out. Um, but you come see me and, uh, good. enjoy. Karin's the yeah. man, dude. Good boy. We love him. Karin's yeah. a great guy. Fuck yeah. One yeah. of my, one of my faves out definitely, here. Definitely. Always oh, yeah. love seeing this Thank guy. Thanks for, for coming on, me. buddy. It was a great time. He is like a good boy. I just want to like rub his head. I know. Just, that's when like, I look at him. I actually want to kiss his <laughs> cheeks. I want to give him a kiss. I want to get a coin out of his ear. I want yeah. to make accept, him feel good. There's a few in there. I, I would accept anything. Any belly rub, gest- something. Gestures of love. I'm all Yeah. I, I just I love this kid. He's a good kid. I do. Great guy. You know, and I feel good being an older man. To this guy, I know. Same. I think you guys could, an, you could really raise. You could bring me up. I think you we're know, gonna raise you really right. Yeah. Dude, I'm done. We're gonna undo all the good work your parents <laughs> did. Actually, is what's gonna happen. Yeah, you gotta fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta fuck you smash them. Them. You're fucking after quick. your shows yeah, are what? Yeah, yeah. if, you, if you know their name, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> first, <laughs> ask for consent later, Karen. <laughs> ask for consent. Ask my, forgiveness my later. Just say this was consent. All right. My seven five years is gonna be. My wife's a bitch. Oh, my wife is a bitch. My wife is a bitch, man. What does this guy? His wife was a real bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my wife was a bitch. She's dead. She's <laughs> rest in peace. Yeah, at the funeral, he's yeah. emceeing his own funeral. My wife is a bitch. This was a bitch. She was a bitch, man. <laughs> She's going down into the six feet under. You're still a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, bro. Wherever you go, LA, New York, good luck. Yes, sir. It's fucking exciting. It's fucking, this is reminds me of me when I was 22, 23. Figuring, I was working at Jimmy John's in your in your state, mm. trying to make money enough to make go to New York. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. That's where I'll be. Oh yeah, dude. He lives in New York already, though. He's got yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and he's got wait. supportive parents. Dude, he's starting off running, starting off running, dude. It's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Mango Bay. Mango Bay. It's all touch. Pass that on to me. Thank you. Come again. What Mango Bay?